Okay, hello, welcome to this Pua Crypto Service video. I am going to go over the market scanner, the pro version, and how to install it as well as the settings behind it. Uh, so it's going to be somewhat of a lengthy video, but hopefully I can breeze through it and say everything I need to say in a clear fashion. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, you'll have to install the scanner. The scanner is an add-on for the Google Spreadsheets environment. If you're not familiar or if you don't know what that means, all it means is the add-on is just an, uh, an additional small application that runs and it uses the Google Sheet environment, so just your spreadsheet, uh, as its home basically. So it'll use that, uh, how you manipulate things in the spreadsheet, and then it'll react to that and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So we'll go over that in just a second. Uh, you do need to have a subscription in order to use the scanner, the pro version. And after you receive your subscription email, you'll have quick links to how to install. You'll have, you'll have the link to the uh, scanner page in the marketplace here, the add-on marketplace. Uh, but if for some reason you lose that email, you can always come here to the website and jump to the Poopa Pro area, scroll down, and then you'll find the install link. You'll click that. It'll take you here. And then uh, you'll select install. And what this is going to do is uh, it's going to install it to your Google account. So the one thing to keep in mind here is because we're working with Google products, you know, it's a Google spreadsheet. You're going to be using your Google account, and if you don't have one, you can create one with either a new email address or maybe even your current email address. Uh, however, they have that set up, I'm not sure uh, because it, you know, they change things all the time. So, but what this is doing is you're basically just allowing your Google account to use this add-on for your account, uh, uh, basically account-wide. Now, the actual add-on itself is going to be scoped to the individual document or the spreadsheet that you create. So it's not going to be like, okay, well, I'm going to use it for all these spreadsheets. It's only going to be enabled, uh, and you manually do this, but it, it's only going to be enabled for the particular spreadsheet that you allow. But this is basically just saying, okay, well, we want to allow this add-on to be used across your account here, and that's what it's saying here. Uh, so think of your Google account as just a container because not only are there Google add-ons for spreadsheets, there's Google add-ons for forms. Uh, so this is the drive. This is the Google Drive. This is where your documents, you've got uh, forms, slides, sheets, documents, all that kind of stuff is going to reside here in your Google Drive. And there's add-ons and additional extensions for all of these uh, types of uh, uh, tools. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll click continue and then it's going to say okay well which Google account do you want to use? If you're logged into multiple accounts uh, I recommend using an incognito window because there have been issues recently with just recent changes of uh, how Google interacts with multiple accounts and it's been causing issues for people that are logged into multiple accounts. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of logging out of all your accounts and then logging into just one, then I recommend using an incognito window and then that way you can just log into just one. And then these are basically saying, well, this is what we need access to and this is what it's going to do, all that good stuff. You'll just click allow. Okay, and then it will install it and then it says, okay, you'll find this add-on in a Google spreadsheet in the add-ons menu. Okay, good deal. And then what you're going to do is go to your drive, so drive.google.com, and then you'll select new, and then you want to create a new spreadsheet. This here is just a different layout or a different view of the same information. I can access my drive here as well. Uh, this is docs.google.com. Uh, just, you know, where the spreadsheets are, so I'm just going to close this here. Once I create the spreadsheet, I can give it a name. And then you'll see here it'll now pop up and it'll save so if you ever want to come back to the scanner this is how you'll do it you'll go to your drive.google.com you'll double click this it will open it 
and now you can use it. Another option too is if you're using, I'm not sure if all browsers do this, but if you're using Brave or Chrome, you can come down here, go to more tools, do a create shortcut, and uh, you can create a shortcut on your desktop, which is super handy. All right, so now that we have our spreadsheet added and created, we're gonna come here and enable the scanner or the add-on itself, which is gonna build the scanner for us. And this goes back to what I was talking about earlier, where all this does is it actually enables the add-on to use in just this uh, document only, or sorry, this spreadsheet only. So I'm gonna select enable. Now the uh, add-on is enabled for this spreadsheet. And this is where the PCS login is going to come in. You're going to use your login information for uh, either if you have a trial through the Better Traders or the course, or if you have um, you know, a Puba Crypto Service subscription, you're going to come in here and put in your information. So I'm going to put in uh, if so the, the differences I'll mention quickly the differences between the trial and the subscription the trial the key is generated so you're going to use the key that's given to you in your email and then the email that you signed up with for the course and then for the subscription you're going to put in your email your discord username and then the transaction ID that was generated from the payment that you sent to us and all that information was in the subscription email as well so I'm going to put in this test account here and I just have a key that I'm using and then you hit submit and then what it's going to do is it's going to check for an active account and then it's going to go ahead and build in the background. It can take a couple minutes depending on your internet connection and how fast your computer is and you'll see things pop up in the background here and then once it's done it will uh, close this window here and then it will show the scanner cool so it'll say you are now logged in thanks for using the scanner hit ok there we go and now we've got the scanner loaded it has a default look here and uh, yeah so this is the the scanner itself and I think I'm actually going to cut the video here and then start a new video on uh, actually going over the, the, the scanner.